Hi Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. On today's video we got a custom, yes. I bought myself one of those 20 inch K2SOs. Pretty simple. So I'm going to customise it, going to repaint it, going to cut all the limbs, reposition it, get a, make a nice little sandy kind of stand. And uh, probably about one, yeah, two part, maybe three part video. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe and enjoy the video. Well, here we go. Here's K2SO. I've bought this for, um, I think it was like seven or eight quid I got it. And then there was postage as well. So he's like 20 inches tall. It's, it's quite cool. There's some really good detail. Um, but it's just like weird sort of, I don't know, it's an off gray. It's not black. And he should be sort of a matte black really with a bit of silver highlights and weathering. So, and the pose on it, as you can see, is just pretty, and these are pretty simple. So I plan to actually, I'm gonna, you're gonna see, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut the legs, as you can see here. I'm gonna drill like through the, uh, the knee joints and um, just take it apart, mask some of the bits up, re-weather re it, readjust it, paint it, pose it, and then, uh, yeah, just get him in a better pose, really. Just to start unscrewing it. Cool, these uh, screws are very, very tight. Using my little uh, screwdrivers precision my little ones for glasses <laughs> all right here we go okay it's in parts now we've got it into certain parts so now i should be able to i'm not going to have a wrench i'll probably tape up the uh, but i'm going to sort of drill through these so make them like they are in the film get the dremel and i'm probably going to cut see you got these different grooves there so i'm going to pick one i'm going to cut it and then I'm gonna blend that so it's rounded and then sort of move the arm, you know, sort of to a bit more of a, and then when I get it back in, a bit more of a pose, hunched over more. So yeah, um, same with the legs. I'm gonna go through there with a Dremel. Probably gonna do the same thing here, trim, cut that, clean that up, round that off, and then re, and then move that, and then uh, re-glue it. Gonna try and tape where the yellow paint is. Gonna give it a clean, look at the dust. <laughs> Gonna tape all that up and then when I spray it all matte black. So and say, yeah, look, uh, certain bits around here, like around here, they didn't spray the silver. So I'm tempted, I know you can take the the head out. So I think you have to take the screws off there. Might consider that. I'll tape this up. It just needs to clean. Take it all apart now. Give it a clean. Okay, everyone. Yeah, I'm doing a little voiceover now. I uh, deleted all the sound of the, uh, the Dremel and all the noises. You do not want to hear that whiny noise. <laughs> so yeah, here I go. I've got a very small uh, sanding piece on in the Dremel. Going with a small bit first, sort of clear out the hole. And then uh, here we go now. I'm getting in sort of the bigger piece now really getting in there and sort of clearing out the holes. So there you go, I've cleared out the foot, ankle and knee ankle sort of pieces, the joins. It looks so much better now with the actual, you can see right through, can't you? And then I'll paint them silver or whatever. They should look really, the weather them up, they should look really good. Not sure about what I'm going to do, but I have cut the limbs now. So there you go, I've uh, cut the foot and now I'm going to round that, take all that plastic off, I've round the edges of them, smooth it down, put some filler in it. There you can see I've got the knee piece there, I've got to round off and, uh, and then filler it. You don't realise how hollow it is. Yeah, here I go now, I'm just sort of doing the arm now, going right in there. <laughs> So yeah, I did do a bit on the actual hand as well, and that was very soft plastic. I learned my lesson, to, uh, but then I used a drill. It's all right, it's come out really well, so I'm gonna cut that and then uh, reposition it. So 
Welcome back, and here we are the next stage. So this is sort of the end of the day. So as you can see, I've cut the limbs and I've repositioned them. So uh, I had to like rub it all down, put some filler in it. And then of course I cut through, you don't realize this plastic's hollow. So I've had to put like an end piece on there. So this is glued in place, all masked up, ready to be sprayed matte black. It had a slight disaster with these bits. I was trying to drill a hole through and this was very, a lot softer plastic. I have slightly damaged it there, but there we go. You learn these things, don't you? So, but I did put the uh, fingers in hot water and I've tried to bend them and give them a bit more than being just a straight finger. So uh, yeah, a bit more of a pose on there. All masked up. Have a look at the legs as well. I've glued all them. So there we go, you can see where I've added the extra piece of plastic and it gives that a nice bond to it now because I had to rub that all down. And uh, yeah, I drilled it all through. That was fun drilling them through as you've watched. <laughs> and you can see there's a bit of filler in there, all rubbed down, wet and dry. There's the foot, so it's sort of angled. Gives a leg definitely a, a bit more. So that when I get them all together, he should look a bit more sort of menacing and uh, not so straight laced. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, other bits as well, all ready. So yeah, I can't wait to get some black paint on him. That'll probably be part two of the video, which you'll see maybe next week. And here's the base, I've made a base already. So a bit of perspex. Um, then it's just glue, dipped in sand, dried, shaked off, dried, glued over again, dipped in sand again. I did it about three times. So there we go, there's the base and then I uh, went over the famous hairspray <laughs> just to seal it and hold the uh, whatever's loose on. So yeah, should look pretty cool when he's standing on that. Nice little base. I will have to pre-drill some holes and then countersunk them, put some screws and then screw the feet. I might, I'm not sure yet, I might mark out where the feet are going to go and just rub it down a little bit. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm happy with that. It's quite cool. So on the next video, yeah, you'll see me, it'll probably be all sprayed. I might have it all put together and then what I'll do is we'll have a video me just doing some weathering to it and stuff hopefully you enjoy that okay I just want to say a big thank you to all my channel members my subscribers my patreons leave some great comments hope everyone enjoys the video leave some likes and I will see you on part two bye